Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, destroy this uh, model uh, and temple supporting a kind of fountain uh, floating on those big rocks, so on Eric Temple. Let's uh, start by we are going to create some cracks over the model before destroying it completely for this uh, we are going to use uh, 3d max uh, freehand splines select freehand click on constraint and simply start drawing your spline over the surface where you want to create the cracks okay draw the the path for destruction. You can do as many uh, cracks as you want. For this tutorial, three is, is fine. Uh, and now let's start shattering the model. Uh, usually, you should start for creating cracks. You should start by selecting a path-based shard style. But I recommend to apply always a base uniform uh, shutter base shutter to get a small rounded fragments all over the volume so let's start but by applying a uniform shutter pattern of about 300 fragments and you can see let's set an optic color to see the fragments clearly you can see we have got small rounded fragments all over the volume that are going to get a better dynamics results when destroying the model now set path based style select any of the splines and click on draft mode select first select any of the fragments click on draft mode and you can see this cloud of points uh, fitting the spline you can make it wider or smaller let's set it very close to, a, to our spline and also you can modify if you like the stand of the of the crack it is very useful but uh, let's apply it over the whole spline click on share it and you can see those small little fragments have been created all along the uh, spline. Let's do the same with the second uh, spline. Select it. Set that mode. Fit. Adjust the shutter point, and click on shutter it. And we have created our second uh, crack. And Finally, do the same with the last uh, cube. Select it, adjust the point, and click on share it. So now we have our three uh, path-based uh, cracks over the surface, but we need something to trigger the extrusion. You can use rigid bodies, but for cracks, it's better to use PDA crackers. Let's open PDA crackers window, and it's the same process. Select assign path select our spline click on new cracker and you can see this little sphere has been created traveling along the spine reduce the size because it is too large and let's do the same with the second uh, spline select it create new cracker reduce reduce the size to make it smaller and do the same with the last cube select it create new cracker and make it smaller so now we have at this point uh, our model shattered and our cracker objects we have just to uh, make all of this in dynamics for this select any of the fragments and open uh, PDA basic fractures and this window just click on create fracture body this is our selection of fragments. You can change the name of the fracture object you like. Click on OK. The model turns orange. That means it is included in Dynamics. 
and left all parameters by default for now and compute uh, simulate a scene to see how it goes make sure bake is button is checked so we can later go back and forth and start computing dynamics you can see how the cracks are, are being created in the areas we wanted and fragments being detached nice effect uh, but I am going to show you how to do this in a different way with latest version of Pull Down It. You can make the stress cracks over the surface without the fragments falling to the ground. This is this can this this can look very good for the extrusion effect. So let's go to PDA cracker window and you have just to uh, check bounded this new parameter bounded for all the crackers. You can set it only for some of them but let's check it for all of them and compute dynamics again and you can see how now the cracks are being created nicely along the surface but much less fragments are falling to the ground you can control the amount of fragments with the bone threshold uh, detaching bone threshold parameter let's uh, extend the simulation range to compute more frames you can see now more most of the fragments are stick on the surface only some of them are falling at the beginning of the fingers or, or at the fingertips but now i i think the result is much more interesting with stress cracks over being created over the surface so this is another way to make a stress crack with a pull down it plugin so uh, at this point the result is nice but uh, let's destroy the model completely at some point for example at frame 100 make the whole model uh, crumble and fall uh, for this uh, we have to modify some parameters of fractals here in basic fractals you can see it is set uh, activation only breaks change it to activation at frame and set the frame to to start 100 so now at frame 100 and also include this uh, fountain model uh, in simulation to make it fall in when the when the fracture start change activation at frame 100 in the same GUI so now the whole thing should start crumbling at frame 100 let's uh, compute dynamics to see what happens so the cracks stress cracks are being created as before but when reaching frame 100 the whole model start you can see how the whole model start breaking and collapsing nice let's uh, compute some more frames to see the result okay and the font time model is falling as well so nice let's uh, finish the simulation and check the the result hide the spines because we don't need them anymore so yeah we have our uh, cracks been created and at some point the whole thing collapsing uh, that's pretty good but you can do it better for example those fragments here at the beginning are moving too much and this kind of issues you can fix these little issues very easy with Polonic plugin let's using advanced fractures so let's open advanced fracture window just select the fragments you don't want to mop to move at all and set them as a static as you can see the fragments are blue that means the fragments shouldn't move in dynamics let's uh, 
compute the scene again with this modification and now everything should see exactly the same except uh, the beginning of the arm shouldn't move at all so let's check it at frame 100 the whole structure start falling but you can see now the, the beginning of the arm is not moving at all so uh, we have fixed the, the problem so let's check the new this new outcome so much nicer but maybe uh, the hand is crumbling too much you can also fix it very easily with pull down it in a similar way selecting the fragments you don't want to move in dynamics using advanced fractals select these large fragments we don't want to move and by clicking on increase selection it's auto select neighboring fragments very handy option so now you have just to set static all those big chunks and this prevent them from moving in dynamics let's uh, compute again the simulation so now uh, the beginning of the arm and the wrist shouldn't move at all and we we are going to get um, probably more realistic result than before so the cracks are being created nice and at frame 100 now the model is crumbling but you can see how the wrist is not falling much better and also the fragments at the beginning of the arm doesn't move so much better result uh, interesting good looking so this is it uh, let's uh, review it with uh, materials applied okay nice cracks over the surface and final crumbling of the model uh, if you find the fragments are too polygonal or too flat with pull down it you can also make them more realistic let's first uh, delete all PDI bodies to left only keys on the scene so we can go back and forth uh, faster and uh, to improve the look of the fragments you have just to select any of them and use PDI Jaginis feature uh, open Jaginis, select any of the fragments modify the resolution and click on add Jaginis okay so now when playing the simulation you can see those fragments are much more rough uh, rough surface you can modify the amplitude of the effect with this parameter to make them very jaggy or 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 more flat so yeah that's the result thanks for watching uh, hope you like it bye